Team uh, Rotary ERC. I'm a Marie, someone else, but I've been participating in your dippers. I've fallen in love with the Osmani Darga. I've fallen in love with the Mexican Hassani. I need your advice on how I can avoid arguments with my family as they are all against me. Don't bring it up. Don't talk about it. Talk about <laughs> what? Butterflies. Talk about something else. Talk about toys. When you're with children, talk about toys. Don't bring it up. Just say yes, sir, no, sir. Especially if you're living with them. And you're not paying rent. And they're cooking and they're feeding you. You don't have too much rights now. Even if you are right, even if the Istafillah, they are not, they are good Muslims, I know. But imagine if someone come into Islam and their parents are unbelievers. But you live in that house and you're doing everything. They are paying you. You don't have no right to say anything to them. So don't fight. Don't bring it up. Be patient until you can find your own independence. Then that time, you're free to go and live the way that you want to live. Otherwise, uh, try to be patient. Yeah. People are liking things, not understanding why they like. People are hating things, not understanding why they hate. If you are love things because Allah loves them, then you're not going to come to that conclusion. If you're liking and loving what Allah loves and you're hating what Allah hates, no parent in his right mind is going to stop their children from sitting in our sohbet. You must be filled with shaitans that is whispering and making you to be confused. Because we're calling people to be servants of Allah. So, who listens anymore? It's okay. Like I said, go to them, say yes sir, no sir. Steal their hearts, show kindness to them, go and kiss their hands. I know it's not in so many of your culture, you Pakistanis especially, you don't kiss your parents' hands. Huh? You do? You know, you don't. But you become Wahhabis. You have to kiss your parents' hand, mother's hand, father's hand. That's how you get blessings. Your teacher's hands you have to kiss. Because other than your father and your mother, your teacher has the one who has the most rights. They don't teach you nothing. They teach you to swallow Quran and to throw up the Quran. Even Munafiq can do that. Astaghfirullah. But this, no. So be nice to them. Kiss their hands, steal their hearts, cool them down. If they have questions, they can ask. If we have answers, we will give. But we're not going to fight with them too. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.